Today we're talking about iLOX, the iLOX license manager, and then how to get your software properly activated and licensed. So I know you guys have problems with this because I get emails all the time from you guys. And in this tutorial, I'm going to take you from start to finish on how to properly license a product. So if you guys want to know how to do this right, stick around after this introduction. What's going on everybody? I'm Dan Spencer and I am the Audio Sorcerer. So this is the channel where I teach you how to perfect your audio recording, mixing, and mastering skills. So before we get to the video, make sure you guys smash that like button. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when new videos coming out. So without further ado, today we are talking about the iLock License Manager and how to get your software up and running. So in this video, I kind of broke it down into a few smaller sections. We're gonna first talk about how to create your free iLock account. Then we're gonna talk about how to download the iLock License Manager and install it. And then I'm gonna show you the three different ways that you can license your software. But before we get to that, I do wanna mention that I have chapters below if you want to fast forward to any portion of this video. And also, if you're interested in purchasing a physical iLock, I also have a link below where you can get one, all right? So with that being said, let's get into this video and let's talk about how to create your free iLock account. All right, so to create your iLock account, it is a very simple process. You first need to go to iLock.com. So let's go there. And this will take us to the home page. And all you need to do is go up to the very top here where it says create free account. Click on that. Okay, so you just need to fill out all this information here. And then of course, check that you read all the terms and do create account. And you should receive a confirmation email. And at that point, you should be all good to go. Now, one thing I don't want you to do after your account is created, I don't want you to actually sign in on the page. I want you to go back to the home page here. And then we're gonna get to our next step, which is downloading the iLock License Manager. All right, so you should have your free iLock account created now, and you should be back on the iLock.com homepage. So what you wanna do now is go where my mouse is at, where it says iLock License Manager Free Download. Underneath here, we have three different installers, one for Mac, one for Windows 32-bit, and one for Windows 64-bit. So all you need to do is select the installer that fits the type of computer you have. So I have Windows 64-bit, so I'm gonna select that and it's gonna launch the download window. So I'm gonna hit save to wherever I wanna save it. And it's gonna start the download. And the download is 282 megabytes, so it's not all that large. So we will come back after it's done downloading. All right, so our download has finished and I have opened up the zip file here and there is a folder within it. So we wanna open this up here. And we're simply going to double click the license support win64.exe file here to start the installation process. And I should mention the installation process is pretty straightforward. There's just nothing really special about it. So we'll let it do its thing here. Okay, so we are on the install shield wizard. So let's hit next. Let's just hit yes. Let's hit install. Give it a second here. All right, so when the installation process is finished, it is going to ask you to restart your computer. So it's very important that you do so. So we'll be right back after I restart my computer. All right, so my computer has rebooted. And what we want to do now is actually launch the iLock License Manager. So let's search it here. Just type iLock in your search bar and it'll pop right up as you can see. iLock License Manager, click that and it's going to begin the launch here. So let's give it a second. All right, as it's launching here, what we need to do is we need to go up to the sign-in bar right here, click this. So you're gonna put in the username and password that you use to create your iLock account on the website. So I'm gonna put mine in now, and then we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm officially signed in now, and as you can see, I have quite a few licenses in here. So what I wanna do now is I'm going to show you the three different ways that you can activate your software licenses. All right, so as mentioned, there are three different ways to activate your software licenses. 
So if I go over to the left here, we have the cloud, we have your actual computer desktop, and then we have the physical iLock. As mentioned earlier, I have a link below where you can purchase an iLock if you're interested in adding one to your collection. So the desktop and the iLock activations are pretty much the same, whereas the cloud is a little bit different. So starting with the iLock and the desktop here, what you need to first do is go up to your license tab at the very top left here, click on this. You need to go down to redeem activation code, click that. And then with any product you buy, you should have received an activation code. You're simply going to paste it in here, and then you should get a bunch of green check marks, and then you're going to hit next, all right? So when you do that, you're gonna get a little pop-up that looks like this, okay? It's gonna ask you, where do you want to activate your license at? And this is where you get to choose at here. So you should get to choose between your desktop or your iLock, all right? So that's how you activate it on your iLock or desktop, okay? So the cloud is a little bit different. So for a cloud session here, if you go up to file and you go to open your cloud session, now mine is already open. So if yours is not open, let me show you what it looks like. It's gonna be grayed out over here, okay? So if we go to file and then open your cloud session, this is gonna become blue again. So what's gonna happen is from a cloud standpoint is that on the manufacturer's website of the product you bought, they're usually gonna ask you for your iLock user ID, which mine is Danimal1335. And what's gonna happen is once you do your registration on that website, and then you come to your iLock manager here, and then you go to open cloud session, what's gonna happen is it's gonna sync over the internet and it's going to activate and register your product and it's gonna be good to go. So the cloud process is super easy. So that's all it takes to activate it over the cloud. Now, I wanna show you guys something interesting too. So per se, I wanted to, let's use desktop as an example. I only have one product here that is registered to my desktop, which is Pro Tools First. I do not have to keep it on here. I simply can drag it and drop it to the iLock if I want to move it to there. So check this out. So I have an option to confirm move and I can hit okay if I wanna move it there. I don't wanna move it there now, so I'm gonna hit cancel. But you can move licenses around and you can also deactivate licenses by clicking the deactivate button here. That's if you right click on this, okay? And then if you go back to Danimal 1335 or whatever your username is here, this is the general area, you're gonna see it in here, okay? So you can actually take your licenses off your iLock, your desktop and such, and put them back in this general area. So then you can shift them wherever you want or move them to another iLock account, okay? So you have several different options, all right? So you might be asking yourself, well, Dan, how do I know if my license is officially activated? Well, if you have a subscription license, you should be looking for a little green uh, circle with an arrow here. That is good. That means your subscription is up to date and working. Now for single licenses, this is something I just bought here, the Voice DC30 guitar amplifier by Nembrini Audio. So if I double click this here, you'll see license status active, okay? So all you need to do is double click one of these and you'll see that it's active, okay? But remember, just because it's active doesn't mean it's working. You need to actually put it onto either your iLock, desktop, or cloud to make sure that it works with your system, all right? So that is pretty much everything you need to know to get your software up and running and registered using those three different ways. So again, how you register it is gonna be usually up to the manufacturer. Some want to do it over the cloud and some give you the option to register your desktop or iLock, okay? So one thing I should mention before we end this video is that you do not have to leave the iLock license manager open. Once your software is registered, you can close it and you're good to go. Your software will work. The only thing that you need to do that I recommend doing is to open the iLock license manager maybe every two weeks to one month to just check it because there usually are software updates periodically for it. So that's the only thing I recommend doing. So. If this video helped you out and uh, you can get your software license now, give this video a thumbs up. And if you like what I'm doing, definitely subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when I have new videos coming out. So with that being said, until the next video, I'll see you guys later and peace out.